All right, let's look at this uh, depreciation expense question. Uh, January 10, uh, the company acquires equipment for 124000 It has an estimated useful life of three years or 24,000 hours, and its residual value is 10000 Of course, we need that information depending on how it's going to be uh, depreciated. So if we uh, use the unit of production method, uh, let's figure out depreciation expense. So units of production is, um, you know, is a rate or activity based. And we use the same type of formula that we use for straight lines. So we take cost minus um, uh, residual value and we divide it by the um, useful life, um, but instead of like years, which would be a straight line, we do it, do it in terms of volume or units, um, or in this specific example, hours. So the cost is 124000 the residual value is 10,000, and the total useful hours of this piece of equipment is 24,000 uh, hours. All right, well, that calculation gives us a rate, um, and that rate is $4.75 per hour. So for every hour this equipment runs, we're going to charge four dollars and seventy-five cents of depreciation expense. Well, then, in 2010, uh, we need to make the uh, adjusting entry, so we're going to debit uh, depreciation expense and credit uh, accumulated depreciation, and we need to figure out the amount. So, four dollars and seventy-five cents times the actual hours, ninety-one hundred equals 43225, uh, answer D. And that would go into our adjusting entry, 43225.